Man, this lifestyle is hard on the back. But at any rate, hello everybody, it is your buddy here, the Black Knight, and trying to go in a different direction with some of these videos, I thought I'd do something a little more creative. So today, we're going to talk about dream cars. Okay, there's a lot of different ways you could think about what a dream car is, so we're, we're going to go in a couple different directions here. Now, a lot of the cars which I would consider dream cars, cars I'd like to have, and in, in this case, we'll, we'll, we'll put that into the cars I'd like to have in GTA Online, because we'll, we'll stay topical here. Most of them have been kind of wrapped up in this car here, the Tampa. As you can see here, this is supposed to be a, a 60s Mustang kind of. There's a bit of Barracuda in there, a little Javelin maybe, not quite enough Coke bottle body. Eh, maybe in the, in, the, in the rear here is a little bit of Javelin. Um, this is their 60s pony car, that along with the Vajero. Those are the two things. So I don't think we have a lot of hope of getting, say, like a 71 Javelin or a 69 Mach 1 that looks like a 69 Mach 1. Uh, different than the Dominator, which is so obviously a Mustang. You know, this is, this is going to be our 60s pony car. But there are other cars you can think of that you might like. I mean, you know, obviously most of the dream cars that you could come up with are in-game already. We have so many Infernuses, which are Lamborghinis, Ferraris, lots of stuff like that. But there is one car, one very low production, very expensive, amazing car that I would not know anything about if I wasn't a fan of Top Gear. And that is the Alfa Romeo Disco Volante. Now, this car on so many levels is perfect for GTA Online. It's fast, it accelerates like it's falling off a cliff according to uh, Jeremy Clarkson. Also according to Jeremy Clarkson, we'll quote him here, it has an exhaust that sounds like it was made out of Otis Redding. This is a car that is just supremely a perfect cruiser. It not necessarily have the hard, you know, harsh handling of the Alfa Romeo 8C on which it was based, although that would be another really cool car to use. Uh, but this car, I'm in love with this car. This would be a great car to have in game. So that's a dream car for the game. If I had this, I'd be cruising it a lot. And it has a retro custom Benny's version. So hey, listen, you got this. You got the twofer right here. You got to go with this. And let's not forget, Disco Volante means flying saucer. So if we ever get an alien update or some kind of alien invasion update perfect car to introduce. But there are other ways of looking at dream cars. You know, obviously we have this one. And we also have this one over here, which is just the Dukes. It's just plain, painted in blue, got the American flag on top. And you say, all right, yeah, you know, and it's got the, the current base symbol on the side, which is, of course, the Ukup uh, genetically enhanced gorilla. And you might say, well, why would this be a dream car when we have Dukes all over the game? And you can say, well, there is a story to this. It was back when I was a lad and the Dukes of Hazard did come out. Uh, initially, I was thinking to myself, I really like this show. I really like that card. How do you not like the General Lee? But I am a Yankee. And I still had that sense of Yankiness. I thought, well, what would be a Yankee version of the General Lee? I thought, well, you obviously switch the color palette to blue. Put an American flag on it instead of a rebel flag. And then call it the General Grant or something like that. And, uh... Not the General Meade. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be as cool as Grant. But the, uh, the, and so I actually did want to have this car for a while. Of course, after you watch the Dukes of Hazard for a while and you get into the show, you realize, you know, a lot of it doesn't have to do with being, you know, a Southern rebel against the Yankees. They don't really have to seem to have any problems with the Yankees. So you get comfortable and just want the General Lee after a while. And so now, thanks to this game, I have both. We get into this car. And of course there are other kinds of dream cars and let's let's zip up the road and we'll talk about that. Now over here you see another Dukes and you're thinking, gee, maybe this guy just has a Dodge obsession, which is is possible, although I'm more of a Ford guy, really, believe it or not. But this particular car I actually had in a dream. Now let me let me show you where I think I actually had placed this in game. Yeah, this is about where I kind of imagined it in the dream. I wasn't in GTA land in the dream. I was in a, a, a real car, a real 69 Dodge, which was kind of weathered and beat up. That's why I haven't put chrome on this one. And um, 
And I was doing a lot of long distance driving and I, I, I was stopping at an airport on my way somewhere. And for some reason, all of the, all the people who worked in the airport were you know, the women from the Psy videos. If you've ever seen any you know, Psy videos like Gangnam Style or Gentleman or anything like that, you, you know where I'm going with this. Which we were watching a lot of that, so that probably fed into my imagination. My, my younger son thinks they're hilarious. Now it's just, you want to make, make the two-year-old giggle, he just loves Psy videos. Of course, there were a lot more existential things going on in the stream, pondering career and... You know, if I'm where I'm supposed to be at this point in life, that kind of thing. Talking it over with my dad in the candy shop at the airport. And, you know, with this car parked outside, it's it's that, it's an interesting... Not this car, but like a real 69 Dodge Wars. But it was an interesting thing in that, you know, I kind of woke up feeling like, yeah, I'm happy where I'm at. Um, as opposed to, you know, doing something different in life or, or taking a different path. But mainly what I got out of the dream is I'm happy where I'm at. So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build this car in game so that I periodically I can remind myself that I'm happy where I'm at. So this is my I'm happy where I'm at car. And I've debated whether I want to go chrome on the secondary color and spruce it up or just keep it where it is. Yeah, I might just keep it where it is. I'm not sure. But this was an actual car that I was in a dream with. So it's a dream car. That makes sense. So there you have it, folks. Here are my thoughts on dream cars. We have some here, obviously, you know. Um, Rockstar has made it pretty uh, handy here. We can have an awful lot of cars we dream to drive in this game. You know, right down to the Mirthmobile. You guys think I should put a, a spoiler on the Mirthmobile? It wouldn't really fit the Mirthmobile, but it would handle better in races. And I do race this one. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I might actually just build myself... There's another dream car. I'll build myself another Rhapsody just for... Unless I want to just get a Brio show or whatever they call them. But here, you know, they, they've given us the opportunity to have a lot of different dream cars in game. We've got... we got the Knight Rider over at the other thing here. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. What kind of cars would you like to see in game? What kind of dream cars do you have? What cars have you dreamt about? What have... What have you seen when your eyes were closed and you were not awake? Comment in the description. Let me know. What, what's your thoughts on what your dream car would be? Would it be something flashy and American or something dashing and French? On that note, folks, this is The Black Knight. Have a great night, everybody. Okay, we're going for the glide on this one. Whoa! Glide, 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 glide. Whoa, what? Well, I somehow landed that. I am getting fond of this bike. It would be interesting to see if you bought one and then maxed it out what it would be like. Like, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Just kind of do a wall stand with it. Do it there now.